All right. Uh, hello, everybody. I am WCA3 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Lighty. Just tracking some severe weather here. We've been monitoring things uh, down in Coles County. They've actually issued a severe thunderstorm warning associated with the cell that is uh, kind of moving through the Charleston area right now. You're looking at it there on your screen. There's the storm just kind of east of Charleston. Matter of fact, we have our camera down there that we can kind of show you the view of what they are getting. And again, what we've got essentially uh, some really heavy rainfall that's kind of moved through down there, quite a few lightning strikes as well. That was a view from our camera. Potential will exist for maybe some hail to the size of quarters or maybe some 60 mile per hour winds. That's what we've got. Again, that's the view in Charleston, uh, Coles County under that severe thunderstorm warning right now and so let's go back to the radar and we'll take you back down into that storm which is now uh going to be pushing into edgar county before too long kansas to ashmore and so it's going to be in this purple colored area where there is most likely some hail so right here going to be south of highway 16 that purple area there is where maybe some quarter size hail could be picked up from this so if you're in ashmore to kansas this storm kind of elongating a little bit there, and it is moving off here to the northeast. So what we can do is kind of put a little bit of a, a loop on it for you. We'll back it up and see the general direction, see how it's moving northeast, and that's why we're saying Kansas. Uh, it may be eventually towards uh, the Redmond area, maybe even Paris. It'll be a close call for those of you that are uh, watching over there. Uh, but we wanted to kind of give you guys an update on this potential severe weather. That is the only cell right now that we've got a severe thunderstorm warning associated with it okay so we are watching that area right there let's take you back to the current and what i want to do is i'm going to zoom all the way down on this storm so you can really get an idea of exactly where some of that uh, hail might be so charleston 16 that goes up towards ashmore going to be just south and east of town now where some of that hail most likely is and so there it is showing up on your screen um, a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning there, most likely with this. So we just kind of pan over. There's Kansas, there's Westfield, this thing kind of riding right along Highway 60. We can actually go down even more. Look at the look at the streets that can pop up on here, our street level mapping here. Pretty useful. So you're talking about Harrison Street there. So right there at Harrison and County Road 690. That's where I would think that there's probably some hail there. Um, there's Snake Trail Road. I don't know that I want to be on that road right there, Snake Trail Road. How about uh, how about you folks out there? I'll stay away from Snake Trail Road. They probably got some hail there. If there's snakes over there, it is uh, going to be a little little rough for them. Harrison Snake Trail Road. Uh, that purple color area is where we've got potentially some of that hail occurring, as you can see. Uh, so that's what we've got right there. We've got it zoomed. Oh, it looks like we just got the update. So now we can kind of move the radar for you even more now. Now it looks like that hail core over County Road 2150 to 2270. The purple color there is probably some of the hail. And that's going to be just coming into Ashmore. If we've got to be out there. Is anybody out there on the chat right now watching, listening to us in Ashmore? I'd love to hear from you guys if you're over in Ashmore right now because I think you're going to get that hail core come across there. You may have some pea-sized hail up to quarters if it continues to, to strengthen a little bit there. Let us know what you're saying. I've got your chat pulled up. I'm looking at it right down here. I can see you guys, uh, what you're typing there. So I can occasionally glance down there and maybe answer a question or two. But let me know what you're seeing in your area. That is a severe thunderstorm. So there's Ashmore. This thing's kind of hanging right there along Highway 16, lifting a little bit more to the north. Probably going to come right there on 16, that hill uh, core is. Uh, a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning in there, I'm sure. Um, along that cell that is uh, showing up there from Ashmore to Kansas. Um, let's see here. A lot of thunder, a lot of lightning. Shelby, I think is Shelby in, in, uh, in Ashmore, so we may be hearing from her. Shelby, let us know if you get any hail coming out of this. Again, movement is to the northeast. So to widen the view out here and to show you exactly what's going on in other locations, these are all of the storms that we've got here in our area. And we're starting to see some uptick and some activity up here uh, from Rankin down to Penfield. A little cell there maybe heading towards Potomac before too long. And some other cells down near Royal. Another one south of Sydney heading towards Homer. And then other activities would go more to the south here. The strongest cell that we have 
in Coles County. Got to be pushing into western Edgar County here. So Ashmore here, probably going to see a little bit of hail. Looks like some reports coming into us here of some pea-sized hail in Charleston on the EIU campus. So thank you for that report there in Charleston. Some pea-sized hail. Letting us know what's going on over that way. Uh, that storm there, I'll be curious. We'll see what the next radar scan does. But if you, if we plot that purple color, if that purple color gets placed right over Ashmore again, Ashmore a little bit more of a populated area instead of kind of the rural farmlands out here, we may hear some hail reports coming in of that purple color. We'll see if this kind of moves right there or not with the next scan that's going to be coming in. So there is a severe thunderstorm warning for Coles County right now. Um, you can see that storm that's going to continue to run right along Highway 16. What I can do for us is let's pull up some of our cameras again. The storm is now east of Charleston. And what I want to do is pull up our cameras there. And so, again, you can see it was coming down pretty good earlier. So that's kind of looking to the north. And now it's kind of pan over here to the east a little bit. You can see the darkening skies. Of course, there's a tree right there. <laughs> that tree is going to be exactly in our way where we want to see the storm. So we'll just keep kind of panning back around all those leaves on there now. Um, so that storm there is now going to be east of Charleston, heading towards Ashmore. Uh, but there may still be some additional storms that could form here. So we'll just kind of swing it back around, kick it back over to the radar view once again, and show you what's going on in terms of that severe weather. There's another secondary line all the way back here, far western Illinois, Davenport. This is where the activity has really been for most of the day, is that severe weather out there along the Iowa, Missouri, Illinois state line, south of Davenport, between Quincy and Davenport, it's kind of been a lot of the activity. We're seeing now these just these little tiny little cells starting to pop up. There are some other little showers here. Um, as you can see, southeast of Whiteheath, uh, south of Seymour, but right now, this cell here, we're going to be watching that one. Start to see some purple showing up there uh, southeast of Sydney. So Homer, Homer, you may start to get uh, maybe some pea-sized hail showing up in there. So that's a good little cell right there we're just kind of monitoring. And then there's another one here between Penfield, Collison, heading towards Potomac, the Armstrong area. You guys are probably going to get some heavy rainfall, maybe some thunder and lightning along there. And up into Ford and Iroquois County as well, south of Onarga. Cisna Park, Roberts, east of Roberts, Buckley, uh, right there, that storm kind of coming in. So right now, nothing in Danville right now, but these cells are tracking towards Vermilion County. And we got a lot of faithful viewers here in Vermilion County. That storm is continuing to kind of head in that direction. So Vermilion County here before too long, you're going to at least get a couple of these little cells here kind of coming in, already starting to happen. I'd be watching this little guy here. Anytime we see the purple color showing up a little bit more, you got some heavy rain and maybe some hail in there. Let's go back to our severe thunderstorm warning cell, which is now exiting Coles County. And I got a feeling that the weather service didn't continue the warning there because they didn't get any reports of at least quarter size hail from that. But again, in Ashmore, there it is. We, we talked about right over Ashmore, there might be some hail there. And that's what we're seeing. So I'm super curious if you're in Ashmore and we've got some of you, I think it was Shelby there we were watching said that, uh, she is in Ashmore, so curious to hear her report once it's safe to do so. Let us know what you're getting down there. But that, that storm probably dropping at least some pea-sized hail there. Could be upwards of quarter-sized hail as well. All right, got an update here. Got a new severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, so now they've continued it. Okay, so the weather service did continue it. So let's back this out. So this now goes into Edgar County. So here is our new storm, Paris. Okay, new severe thunderstorm warning in effect here. Uh, this includes Redmond. And so it's because of the storm here, it's probably producing some hail. Kansas right now, Kansas, you're next to most likely get some of this hail coming into your area. So be on the lookout there. Could see some gusty winds as well. I'll take off the data here so we can kind of see that storm a little bit better. So there's the new warning right there between Ashmore and Kansas, Highway 16. That's where you're going to have some of it. I'm just going to come over here, see if we got any reports. Uh, power just went out and back on in Ashmore. Shelby's there in Ashmore there. You got, uh, got any hail sizes there or reports of any hail there in Ashmore? Shelby, uh, appreciate your report if you've got anything over there. Kansas is next. If you know anybody that lives in Kansas, I want to alert them. And even down the line, there's Paris. You guys are in this new severe thunderstorm warning. 
But again, uh, that is still a few minutes away from you guys. This thing's kind of running right there to the north and east. Again, this largely missed Mattoon. It kind of formed there south and west of Charleston. So it kind of got, I'm going to back it up. Those of you who are watching in Mattoon saying, what a, why didn't I get anything? Uh, here is the storm at around 638. Really formed kind of over there near Neoga. Really kind of got going there. Slipped in between Mattoon and Charleston. Kind of came in on the south side of Charleston. And then is now crossing into Edgar County. And that's the current view there where that hail core probably just passed through Ashmore. So now Kansas is got that hail core, the purple color there. So we're 16 and 49 come together right there in downtown Kansas, Illinois. Uh, that hail core kind of coming into the northwest side of town, those heavier returns coming back to us with the reflectivity showing that. Power out and back on in South Edgar County, says Mary. Uh, Shelby said she didn't get any hail. I'm kind of surprised by that. Um, so Charleston had some small hail. We had that reported earlier. So again, you, you've got that hail core that's there. And it's so cool. We can like zoom into these roads. If any of you are familiar with these roads, I'll, I'll take a full screen so you can see them better. So you got Hollingsworth Road, County Road 1200, 2700 East. Of course, um, as you come over here, uh, 49 and 16 in Kansas. All of those streets there showing where that, heavier stuff is kind of the northwest side of town getting the brunt of it and that's going to continue to lift to the north and east so there's redmond and then to the east of that is going to be paris and this storm is tracking to the north and east so here is a view of it we'll back it out put the loop on it so you can see the movement so edgar county you're kind of in the midst of it right now a severe thunderstorm Warning continues heading into Edgar County now, right over Kansas at the moment. So watch that little cell there. We've not heard any reports yet of, oh, hold on. We just, no, no, that's just the warning there. Severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning, southeastern Coles County. So that one not in effect anymore. So we're just talking about our Coles in Edgar County here. Again, curious to hear any reports that you may have. If there was any hail in Ashmore or Kansas, heard about the pea size hail reports coming out of the Charleston area here uh, not too long ago, kind of on the east side of town. But right now, according to the radar, uh, some of the heaviest stuff is right there in Kansas. So that's kind of what we're looking at here right now. So I know we've got a lot. Neoga had some pea size hail there. Got a report there. So as is usually the case, people jump into this live stream midstream a lot of times. And so there's always the, what about my city? What about me? What about where I'm at? So here's what we can do for you. Let's widen the view out. Big view, the large view, the big picture, and show you the radar. And you can see there's kind of two areas. We've got one area that is located out here where we've got some severe storms far northwest Illinois. Then we've got these little guys here that are kind of forming, okay, along an area. So we've got a couple different spots right now. Edgar County, you guys are the ones under the gun. We're not talking about other areas, uh, not because we don't like you. It's because we don't have any severe weather where you are. We talk about the most immediate areas that could be impacted by severe weather. And so that's what we've got here right now. So we've got Edgar County under that severe thunderstorm warning. Yes, if you're up here in northern Vermilion County, Rankin over to west of Hoopston. Nice little cell there, but nothing severe. Armstrong to Potomac. I'm going to be surprised. Again, maybe some small hail there. New updated radar scan, Potomac. And then we stretch further to the south. Another little cell there, Ogden to Fithian. You guys probably may have some small hail in there coming through. Pea-sized hail, and I heard anything big, but Fithian. Okay, that probably is going to pass there on the west, uh, probably west of Danville, so maybe Oakwood. And then we come down to our, our cell here that's got the highest reflectivity values, and that is down here in Edgar County. So Redmond, northeast now of Kansas, now you're coming into Redmond there where that storm is going to be lifting straight to the north and east. It's going to probably pass just to the west of Paris if the if the current projection, uh, uh, la the latest of what we've seen here, is occurring. 
rolling off here to the north and east. There it is. So again, a severe thunderstorm warning continues here for Edgar County, where we've got the potential for some hail, maybe some gusty winds. Getting a report of some hail in Ogden. Tiffany, do you have a, a hail size report for us? How big was the hail that came through Ogden? Uh, I'd be curious if you let us know. That's probably on the southeast side of town if you did get something. Probably between Ogden and Fithian, it looks like. A lot of lightning. And be careful out there, folks, because we actually had somebody earlier uh, that was struck by lightning. So thank you, Tiffany. Peace, size hail. Um, we actually had somebody struck by lightning up here earlier in uh, Champaign County. I'll go back up to it. It was actually just up here northwest of Rantoul is where it occurred. And it was actually out here. There's a guy. He was out there by his farm, I believe, by a barn. I went to open the door, and lightning hit the barn, and he was touching the metal door there. Uh, he was okay. But, again, uh, be careful with this lightning out there. I already had one person struck. Um, but uh, was taken to the hospital, precautionary measures, but uh, he's okay. So that's great news. Again, here's our storm now coming into Fithian. Uh, probably looking pretty good. Thundering in Urbana. So we got a little cell here maybe on the west side, Bondville, southeast of Muhammad. We're tracking for you. And then some other guys down here that we continue to watch in Edgar County. So Redmond. Got to be coming along 133 before too long. Crossing 133, that hail core is. Haven't heard any huge reports of, of hail, just some pea size. Nothing yet that has come across the board that said uh, quarter size hail, which is what the usual criteria is for severe thunderstorms. But eh, it's definitely possible to have that. But so far, nothing bigger than, I think, some pea size, from what I can tell. Sometimes these reports kind of funnel into us later. So it's usually that delay that can occur. But that's kind of what we're looking at here. Here's that big wide view again of the state of Illinois as we see storms out here near Davenport. Those storms are probably going to track more towards the Peoria area. So they just kind of stay out of our neck of the woods. Um, and then we've got this little line right here. But as severe thunderstorm warning tendencies to it, Chrisman, you're technically in the warning. There's the new updated radar scan, and that puts it uh, right there over Redmond. So if we go a little bit more to the north and east there again, like I mentioned, I thought this was going to pass probably just west of Paris. Uh, lightning's still going to be pretty close to you guys. So severe thunderstorm warning there continues. That'll cross... Route 1 there. There's our storm that's now oh, right over Fithian. Fithian to Oakwood. Probably seeing pretty good little storm associated uh, with the activity there. Now let us know if you get anything where you are watching. Thanks to everybody uh, tuning in here. There's a lot of you that are, have jumped on. You grow, know by now, you've grown accustomed to, to us. When there's warnings, when there's severe weather, we're here. We're always here. We do the streaming here. We've been doing it for years. And anytime it's interviewing area like this, we jump on. We tell you guys what's going on here. It doesn't always warn us cutting into TV, but we have this awesome platform, whether it's on Facebook, whether it is on Twitter, uh, whether it is on our web app, WCIA.com, the weather app, all of those locations. And right there, if you scan that code right there, you can download the WCA3 weather app. And that app gets you alerts that come right to you. So scan that uh, QR code there if you can. Uh, if you've got your phone with you, you got another iPad or something, you can scan that. It'll take you to the page to download our weather app. And that's just everyday kind of stuff that uh, can get you through the storms, get you through everyday weather, let you know what's going on. Our live streaming is on the app as well, so if you can't access Facebook or Twitter or, or anything, we have our live streaming. If you scroll down on the weather app there, you're going to see the live streaming page. You can click on that whenever there is severe weather. So this is kind of a good thing. And also, we, we also did launch our new service uh, called Weather Call. And I, I just want to make mention of that here real quick because 
this is something kind of cool and new. And yes, I will I will tell you there is a small cost associated with it. It is not expensive. Uh, it's twelve dollars a year for the whole year. And what it does is it gives you a phone call. We call you literally on your cell phone or your landline when there is severe weather. We've all heard of weather radios before, okay? So weather radio is a great thing. The weather app, again, that you can scan and get, or scan that QR code, and that'll take you to the page for weather call. And again, weather call is a new service that we just launched here, and uh, we partner with this uh, company here called Weather Call, and they distribute phone calls to people that are out there in warnings. So if there's a tornado warning, a severe thunderstorm warning in your area, and you have your account set up and you tell us where you live or where you are, it will call you and you'll hear my voice telling you, hey, there's a severe thunderstorm warning. Everybody's got a different way they want to get alerts, whether it is by um, weather radios, whether they're using weather apps, whether they're just tuning into TV. But now another way, we actually call you. So yes, a small fee associated with it, but listen, 12 bucks for an entire year, not bad. Um, and we would love to be able to give you a call. How cool, you know, and it can go to your landline too. A lot of folks still have landlines at home. And so that is one way that uh, you can get those warnings. So just wanted to talk about that because uh, we just want every single way possible to get you guys what you need to know when there is severe weather. And so that's a new service we just launched here a little over a week ago. All right, so it looks like uh, some small pea-sized hail in Armstrong, thunder and lightning in Hoopston. Hail in Redmond, new updated scan just come across. So as I mentioned, north. so there's Paris right there. It's just northwest of you where that uh, heaviest part of that storm is. But the severe thunderstorm warning uh, does continue to be in effect. Okay. So you've got, oh, that's going to be coming up along Highway 36 before too long as well, south of Chrisman. So we're just kind of looking um, down the line here of who is impacted by this next. So severe thunderstorm warning, oh, only county that we've got here now pretty much is Edgar. Uh, that storm is out of Coles, Coles County now. But listen, this storm now, and I tell you what we need to do, we need to pull up the Danville camera. So stand by here, guys. I'm gonna fire up our Danville camera. Let's go ahead and shut off our little QR code there. I'm sure by now many of you have scanned it. So that's Charleston. Let's switch to Danville because I bet we've got a pretty good little view of that storm coming into Danville now. And there we go. Three, two, one. Give me Danville. Ooh, wow, look at that. Oh, you can see the heavy rain, uh, the rain shaft kind of coming down there. Uh, pretty cool shot. Take a look at this. Heavy rain there, northwest uh, kind of Danville there, that darker color there. It's not a tornado. Okay, I don't want anybody to get uh, freaked out here. That is your the rain shaft where that hail, maybe heavy rainfall is. And so you're looking at it right there. Nice shot of the storm. It's going to be coming in there uh, kind of to the west side of Danville. So there is your view that we're able to give you as that storm kind of comes in. So we're watching that. That's going to, that's over Oakwood to Collison right now. The movement of that eh, maybe clips the northwest side of town. It'll be close, but I think it's got to be heading more towards the Henning, Alvin, Bismarck area in portions of Vermilion County. So you can see it there, that, that area there on the far right side of your screen showing us what's going on there. So there it is. And it's going to continue to kind of, so this is looking west, this is north. And so that's where you're kind of seeing this darker area start to kind of move off the screen right there coming down. That's the heavy rainfall, maybe some hail associated with it. You can see kind of some of the, the more clearing back uh, to the south and west here, but uh, there it is, that heavier area of rain. So that's what it looks like on our weather camera. And I'm seeing a few lightning strikes there every now and again as well. So quite a few lightning strikes. Be careful. A lot of what we call CG cloud to ground uh, lightning strikes that are showing up. So we definitely have that. And it looks like, do I have, 
Is Jacob still up? Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that lightning strike that we just caught there on the screen for you. Wow. So, again, a lot of cloud to ground lightning there. You just saw that one kind of on the north, north and west of Danville. Those lightning strikes. Be careful. Heavy rain right there where that is. So we're watching the camera there. Unfortunately, we can't, we're not going to be able to continue to pan that um, around. Our camera there is fixed, but hopefully soon we're going to get that for you. Boy, I bet you guys just heard some loud. Did you guys just hear some loud thunder in Daneville? I bet that was a loud thunder crack uh, over there. So we're, I'm just going to keep on this just for a second and watch that storm kind of come across. That's going to be hitting the northwest side. So it's north of Oakwood, Collison, Jamesburg, Bismarck. This probably heads towards Bismarck, hitting an Alvin in Vermilion County. Rossville as well. You guys have got a nice little cell sitting on top of you at the moment. And this is going to be affecting central and northeastern portions of Vermilion County. So that's what we're kind of looking at there. So as we continue to bring you the view from the camera, a lot of thunder and lightning in that area. Again, the far right side of your screen there is where that heaviest stuff is on the north, kind of north and west of Danville. And what we'll do now is bring you back over to the radar here real quick and show you exactly where the storm is. And so we'll take you off of the camera view since the storm is kind of going to be passing off uh, out of our out of our view and then show you what we've got. Back into Vermillion County. So here's Danville right here. It's going to pop up in just a second. So there's Danville, Collison, there's Oakwood, okay, Alvin hitting. There's Bismarck. It's going to get really dark here in Bismarck here. You're going to see that rain kind of come in. Uh, it's going to be right there over um, kind of on the northern portion of Danville, maybe the north side there. Uh, West Newell Road there, west of the airport. To show you kind of the movement of this, let's do a 30-minute loop, and you can see how literally it's kind of it's going right there, straight north and east. And so northeastern portions of Vermilion County here, again, it looks like maybe clipping on the north and west side of Danville, a uh, pretty good little storm there. Not warned right now, but definitely a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning uh, showing up there with us as well. You know what? I, I just got a glimpse of Jacob. And hey, there's Jacob's shot. Um, let's see here. I wonder if I can pull him up, see what he's doing. Jacob, are you? I don't know if he can hear me or not. He probably can. Um, he was down there around that area where we were dealing with all of the Dust storm warnings out there. Look at his shot there. He's looking into some of those storms. I'm not sure if he's listening to us or not. I'll have to text him here in a second, or he can text me or something. And we may check in there with him. See if I can tell where he's at just based off of uh, his position there. All right, we'll check back in with him here in just a second. Again, here's the view on radar. Again, um, we got a report. Listen, I like hearing you guys' reports, but let me know the size of the hail, and please don't use marble size hail as an indicator. And here's the, here's the reason why. People have been doing this for years. Um, they say marble size hail. I don't know about you, but I've seen about four or five different sizes of marbles. So we don't really know how big is the hail when you say marble size hail because marbles come in different sizes. So we try to get that PSA out there. Don't use marble size hail as, a, as an indicator for the size because – it's not a uniform object. A dime is uniform. We know how big a dime is. That size doesn't change. Neither does a nickel, a quarter, a baseball, a tennis ball. Those are all the same size. But marbles, think about it. Marbles all come in different sizes. So when people say marble size hail, eh, how big of a marble? A small marble, a big marble, a medium-sized marble? Uh, so that's why I always kind of tell you to use those more uniform object sizes that don't change size, like coins and uh, uh, tennis balls, things like that. That's your storm coming in there into uh, Bismarck before too long, the northwest side of Danville. Seeing that as well, quite a bit of lightning with all of these storms. We'll come back in here to our storm that is on the north, or is north of Paris. 
as we mentioned, would probably be the case that this storm would track just to the north of Paris. That's exactly what happened here. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning continues. Let's remove our little data there and kind of show you kind of coming into maybe Chrisman, Edgar. And then eventually, I mean, that's the Indiana state line right there. It's going to be heading into Vermilion County, Indiana uh, before too long. And so we've got that cell right there. Here's the activity just south of Hoopston, Rossville. So, yeah, there's Rossville now. We haven't talked about you guys a ton. And there's the updated scan. Looks like the radar, some radar data lost there. Okay, there it is. It's kind of filled in. So now between just south of Hoopston to Rossville. So south of Highway 9, there's Rossville. Henning coming into Alvin. You get over there into Indiana. Great uh, town of Tab. Yes, that is a town. <laughs> Tab. Um, so we've got these storms stretching down uh, to the south, Jamesburg. And just north and west of Danville. And I was just hearing a little light area. I just heard some thunder outside. Oh, we've got another little cell northwest of Rantoul. That's an area that man was struck by lightning a little bit earlier. So you've got to watch out for that. Those are all of the areas that we've got. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings that continue to move through. Again, this is located down south of Chrisman, uh, where we have a severe thunderstorm warning that is still in effect. Maybe some small hail associated uh, with the storm there. Uh, we've had some pea-sized hail reports coming into us. And we are continuing to monitor things down there, getting some reports uh, from those of you that are in those locations to letting us know what's going on where you are. We've got a couple different areas that we're watching. That's Edgar County and then the one up here into Vermilion County from Rossville. And boy, it's, uh, it's noisy there along Route 1. And got to find some heavy rainfall and just a ton of lightning strikes in this area. You can see these showers and thunderstorms that are moving through. Let's see what else we got here. Let's kind of widen the view out so you guys can kind of see what's going on. We've got tornado warnings up in southern Wisconsin, it looks like, up there. All of these cells, or maybe that's not a tornado warning. I can't quite tell. Um, severe thunderstorm warnings well north and west of our area here. Uh, that's up near Galesburg. But we do have some other little cells. We're trying to form back here in Missouri. We'll see what direction those take on. So we've got a big break. Look at this big break between, say, Monticello, Decatur, Springfield, down in Montgomery, McCoupin County, Taylorville. There's not much going on there. All the activity so far is kind of east of I-57. There are a few little cells here in, in Douglas County, west of Tuscola, seeing a little bit of activity there. And we'll sell there near Rantoul. Again, some of the stronger stuff now coming into Bismarck and Rossville at this time. Some pea sized hail in Hoopston. Big lightning and thunder. North Danville, Bismarck just started pouring. Here's Jacob's camera again. I'm trying to figure out where he is. Oh, hold on here. Okay, may, we may see. A, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't quite tell. So he's trying to get us some view out there. He was down there in Sagamon County earlier with the dust storm. So he's viewing those storms from off in the distance. So I think he, he was uh, tracking down there towards, I think he wound up going south and, and west there towards Jacksonville to catch some of those storms off to the west. So we'll see what Jacob's doing here throughout the course of this evening. I think he's pretty far away from any. Oh, there he is. Hey, there's Jacob. Jacob, hold on here. I'm going to turn your mic on. Where are you at? What are you doing? What are you showing us? Are you out there in Western Illinois? Yeah, I'm still in the viewing area, Kevin. Just want to clarify that. Uh, we're going to be at uh, 104 and 67, which is south of Beardstown. I go this way. I'm going to Meridosia. So straight ahead, you'll see Meridosia right in front of me. You can see the big bridge. I'll zoom in for you. 
uh, that's still sound there. I figured I'd just go to the edge of the viewing area and uh, before I fall off, just take a look at the storm from far. I was sitting in Jacksonville having dinner. That looked really pretty. And uh, so glass, that's what we're looking at here with these little thunder showers. They've been decent looking. I've seen a little lightning with them, but uh, that vessel lift is exiting the area and uh, instability wise, they may not have much to work with. So I'm not too worried about them. More of a, a chase of desperation, I suppose you'd say, but not often that you make it this far to the west of the viewing area here. Again, I'm to the north and west of uh, uh, Jacksonville now, coming into the Meridoja area. To my right is Beardstown, Orangeville's around the corner from me here. And uh, there used to be, I thought over here, Kevin, I thought there used to be the Meridoja power station, but I don't know, did they take that down? Maybe someone knows in the chat here, or maybe I just don't have a view of it. Um, Cause you can see the big power lines over there off in the distance. I, I thought there used to be one that stood up here. So maybe they tore it down or something like that. Kevin, do you know anything about that by chance? No, I'm, I'm I'm not sure about that, but boy, you are out there, man. You are you are at the edge of our viewing area there. If you're near uh, Meridoja, uh, yeah, how about that? So you're looking at some. There's a few cells there. So is that the one that's going to be up northwest of you? Is that is that what you're looking at there? Yeah, that's the one that's uh, up by uh, to the. Um, northeast of Quincy there. In fact, that one just got to see yeah. a thunderstorm warning for it. Yep. Decent structure. You know, there's, there's something there, quarter hail, maybe 60 mile hour wind gusts. So um, I was just kind of like, oh, I'll go look this way. It just seems like by the time these get to the Illinois River, they're going to collapse. So if I wanted any chance to see anything remotely fun or good looking, this is going to be one chance to do that. And with the sun going down behind it, too, it's really nice. In fact, above it, I think you can see it now on the camera, uh, some first some uh, crispicular rays, some of those uh, rays of sunshine in the shadow there. So it's pretty neat. So, uh, so here, here's where Jacob is. He's, he's all the way over here. He's northwest of Jacksonville. He's looking at this storm <laughs> that's way out here, as you can see, uh, northeast of Quincy. That does have a severe thunderstorm warning. So he, he trekked out this way after being over there near Springfield, New Berlin, where that dust storm was um, earlier. And so he's kind of looking at those storms that are well out there to our west. Um, here's kind of the wider view of things. Jacob, we've just kind of been watching some of the storms here that have been prolific lightning producers. I've not heard any huge hail reports so far, but a lot of lightning, a lot of heavy rainfall from Hoopston down south through Rossville and Bismarck and uh, north side of Danville right now. But uh, largely uh, nothing huge at this point. Yeah, no, and uh, I haven't seen anything come in either regarding that. Uh, you know, the storms too, there's really not, you've probably talked about it, there's not much surface instability, so I was like, I don't want to bother with that. I did see a photo and, and they were showing the downburst of rain, that the downpour of rain on one of those isolated cells. It's pretty fascinating to look at. I mean, just this small little core, you know, the similar way to think of it is some of these storms are just uh, like taking a bucket of water and dumping it down. So, uh, you know, they kind of go sploosh in the ground and then spreads out. To, so that's kind of what what uh, has been happening with some of those. And this year, maybe had a little more chance to be surface-based. And the key with that is when we're looking for storms, if they're not surface-based, they can't tap into surface instability and you need that for tornadoes. But when they're elevated, they can produce some hail. And I'm sure there's been a lot of pea and nickel and dime hail. Thankfully, we haven't had to worry about really much else today. Gavin, have you ever been on this bridge in Meridosia heading over the, heading over the water here? Actually, I have not. I have never had the pleasure of being all the way out there before. Um, I've been over to Beardstown, but uh, where you're located there, I have yeah, not. Yeah, Beardstown's so. the next river crossing to oh, the north. From you. Pull up your shot. Pull up your shot. There we go. Let's get him crossing the river now. Uh, look at the bridge. Very pretty shot here. Okay, so the power station. As I look to my left, I can see all of the old transmission and electrical substations. They must have taken that thing down. And I feel like I remember a story. I'm sure if we called Cole Henke, he might uh, be able to share something about that. But you can see the, the flat space where that was there. I, I remember a few years ago being over this way. And uh, I was like, I thought there was a big power plant nearby. So that must have come down. And I can see the site. That, that's what that was here. So, so I'm right. out of the viewing area. Crossing into, uh, technically, I'm in, I think I'm in Pike County right now. But then as I turn the corner here, I'm going to go towards Mount Sterling. Just kind of peek at that storm a little bit. And once the sun goes down, I'll probably just turn around and, and head home. So that's kind so of Rachel like said Rachel says that's the here, that's so. the new bridge. That's a new bridge right there. It did look pretty new. 
S say that one more time for me, sorry. Um, uh, somebody in the chat, Rachel, said that that is the new bridge. There must be a pretty new bridge over there. Yeah, this bridge has been here for a few years. Oh, wait, no. Are she talking about the – are they – the one I just went over is the new bridge. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this bridge has been here for a few years. Yeah, it's definitely newer. The, you, you actually see the old one. If you go through downtown, it kind of dead ends where they tore it out. And uh, I've been down through there before. And uh, cute little area. But uh, it's pretty sweet. Nice view, too. Because we're down now in the Illinois River Valley. And so when you pick the corner around here for you, you can kind of see off in the distance the bluffs. I'm on the west side now, so... Pretty fertile farm ground here, but if that Illinois River floods, this is the area that's going to flood first down here. Yeah, Rachel said updated in 2016, so yeah, that's eight years ago now. Um, but yeah, the Illinois River. That is eight years ago, isn't it? Eight years. 2016 is eight years ago. We're getting old, Jacob. We're getting old. Hey, I wake up with a new pain in my lower back every morning, it seems. <laughs> Look at that storm. So that's looking uh, there towards northeast of Quincy, Camp Point, Clayton. I can see a little bit of lightning now that the sun's going down, Kevin, too. So I don't know if you're catching much of that. It's not a whole lot, just a little bit. But yeah, I've mean, just crossed the Brown County line now. So you're officially out of the viewing area now. I am, yeah. Once I cross that bridge, uh, it gets me across the river and. and uh, well, it, 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 on, it uh, just goes to show, goes to show to our viewers out there that we cover all northwest, southeast routes. It was a few weeks ago. Jacob was cleared. He was cleared down, down near south of Mount Vernon. Um, and then now he's on the western periphery of our viewing area here. So we go to no ends uh, to cover the storms for you guys in every single direction. You're technically in the... Uh, in the Quincy kind of viewing area out there. Um, but uh, again, we cover all the way out there to Cass and Morgan County, technically. And so he's traveled all the way out there. Is that Alta? Alta says he's in. And you might remember area. too, Kevin. Say that? Yeah, you, you might remember too, Kevin. Uh, was it last August or July or August when Chicago had all those just a blitz of weak tornadoes and one was by O'Hare and all that? I was up there for that too. So north, south, yeah. west. I haven't been east. To, uh, to your, your home stomping ground. You need to so get over to the Fountain County. Your soon. You need to get over to Old Petersburg. Yeah, yeah. It'll over make there. me dinner or something on the way back. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, in yeah. Indiana, those storms are just heading. They're crossing over the state line. Now going to be heading east of Bismarck and uh, heading into Warren County, Vermilion County, Indiana. Um None of those are severe. I have a feeling they're probably going to drop this Edgar County warning. Probably doesn't get continued because we've not heard any reports of hail that actually is getting to the size of severe. We just got a new one in here that in, oh, at the Edgar County Airport, they had 0.88 inch size hail. So 0.88 inch size hail at the Edgar County Airport. Of course, that's going to be nickel size. So 0.88 inches is nickel size. That's the biggest size that I've heard about. So let's kind of come back over here to where that would have been. Bring the radar back. So that, that probably tracks pretty good. Um, so some nickel size hail. That's the biggest. And again, quarter size is usually what they're looking for. But uh, And then we're seeing some of these other cells not looking as impressive. We're losing the instability fuel for these storms to feed off of. I don't anticipate a whole lot. It's just some general storms now. There's a whole cell over Willard Airport down to Tolono, but nothing major. Those cells that are in far northwest Illinois, uh, near Davenport, southeast of Davenport, Quad Cities, that is most definitely the area that has the biggest severe weather threat there. So it looks like Jacob is encountering some rough <laughs> some rough coverage area there. I think he's down in a little valley there. So we may lose his signal there bouncing back and forth. But uh, we will let Jacob go for now and uh, check back in here with him if anything occurs. But got a feeling he's probably going to start making his way back after he finds a place to eat somewhere. I'm guessing. Yeah, I got to get some dessert. 
where are you going to go? Where do you think you're going to go out there? Uh, I had my dinner at the Burger Board in Jacksonville. Have you ever uh, had the blessing of going to that place? Oh, you okay. I wonder why you were stopped there for so long. I couldn't yeah, see where you were. So is, you, you've already had dinner. So um, burger shakes and fries in the west side of town. Real good place. And I uh, enjoyed that. I think I lost you in the IP or something like that. Um, great little burger place in the west side of town. It's kind of like up there with your you know, made to order, kind of greasy burger stand type of thing. Real good burger. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but I don't know. Somewhere between Mount Sterling, Bur Beardstown, uh, maybe. If I come back down to Springfield, I'll um, have to find something. Uh, I did not get a milkshake while I was there. I did not feel like that would be the best option for me while driving, but uh, that's what I got. I'm losing cell service. I have an idea if you can hear me. Um, my ClearCom app is not responding now, but uh, I will let you go. And um, maybe we'll check back in here in a little bit once I get closer to Sterling, because I am, uh, or Mount Sterling, I should say. I'm coming into the little town of Versailles now. All right, bud. Sounds good. Appreciate the report there. Um, way far western portion of our viewing area. And so we'll let uh, Jacob continue to do his thing out that way. We're monitoring things. Here's the good news. So the report just coming in that no more warnings are in effect. So no more severe thunderstorm warnings right now. We've got little cells kind of dotted across the map. So what we're going to do here is we're going to end the live broadcast here in just a minute or so and um, kind of wrap things up for now until if any other warnings get issued, which is possible. But I think uh, that as time goes on, the severe weather threat is going to continue to kind of dip off. Um, so uh, keep that in mind. Um, Getting some reports that uh, near Strasburg, pretty good little storm just kind of came through down there, Windsor, Strasburg area. That may eventually head towards Mattoon, so we'll be watching uh, that. Again, nothing is severe at this time. If we get any additional warnings, we will let you know. Um, again, you may get a little quick little cell. There's one down near Willard Airport right now, Tolono, nothing severe. Everything is sub-severe as of right now. Uh, that could change, I think, a lot of lightning. That's the big thing is your heavy rainfall and a ton of lightning strikes that are, are flashing out there here tonight. So be careful. So there's kind of the wide view. You can see isolated cells here, a huge break from Decatur, Monticello, Springfield. And then you got this other little line up here far northwest of Illinois. So a lot of areas not seeing anything. There are a few spots that are, though. And so I know that you guys are going to continue to deal with this here in portions of Edgar County. Chrisman down to Paris, seeing a good little storm. But again, let me stress to you, nothing severe. And what constitutes severe is one inch size hail or 58 mile an hour winds, neither of those being detected with any of these storms here. But it's coming down pretty good. What I'm gonna do here just real quick before we go off the air, because it is storming pretty good on the south side of town here. And I've got our camera I can pull up here. Here comes our stadium camera. Uh, that's Galesburg, and that's to the northwest, but now that's that's uh, the State Farm Center. You can see, you can barely see it as the heavy rain is coming through on the south side of town in Champaign. Uh, so a good little heavy cell there coming across Urbana, probably the U of I campus here in Urbana. So you guys are going to get some of that heavy rainfall here as well. But again, nothing is severe, but we will continue to monitor things. I'm just starting to hear the rain here falling outside the studio as well. But as of this very moment, what we've got are just general old fashioned garden variety thunderstorms that are producing heavy rainfall and quite a bit of lightning, but are sub severe. But we'll continue to watch all of this as we go throughout the course of this evening. There's that cell I just mentioned. It's got a little bit of an uptick there um, over there near Urbana, kind of crossed over 130 here before too long. This kind of came across the Willard Airport. Again, all of these are lifting off here to the north and east. So we'll continue to find little individual cells maybe you get some small hail in there as well all right guys thanks for joining us here on the live stream again because there are no warnings in effect that's what's our policy we cut in we let you know uh, when there are uh, warnings in effect there are none at this time if that changes of course we will always let you guys know and cut back in here on our live stream that we've been with you here for a little under an hour or so since these warnings did first get issued. For now, I'm WCA3 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Lenny coming to you live from the Weather Center. We will catch you guys later. And again, we'll cut back in if any other warnings get issued as the thunder rolls outside. Have a good night.